People disappear all the time. Most are found, eventually. I seem to have fallen through time. I just, I think I fell in love with all of the action and, and that she was this very intelligent woman who, you know, at no point kind of just fell down because of all of these circumstances and sort of lay down and, and, and moped about it. She was just so proactive and so kind of constantly thrust herself forward in, in you know, trying to survive and, and then, you know, finding this wonderful new life for herself. For a woman, you do ask a fair amount of questions. So I've been told. And you know, the 40s is, is an era that I've loved and I love reading books about the 40s and I've sort of read a lot about different women from that time period and it was a real emancipation of women then. You know, they'd finally been very useful in the war. A lot of them worked, you know, in factories or as Claire did, went to the actual front lines. And, and so that was this really interesting time period for a woman and, and, and um, Playing that was really fun, and then going back to the 1700s, it was great because I had no idea what that was like, but neither did she, so I didn't have to have the sort of idea of it. So it was quite nice to be able to play that, that naivete and that sort of ignorance and discovery. Yeah, it's pretty hard world in the you know 1700s in, in, in 18th century Scotland, um, and her character has to deal with you know with, with all the sort of uh, the, the ways that the people the, the women are a sort of second class citizen then, um, their moral code, um, their traditions. So yeah, I think uh, we're certainly in a, in a in a better place now. Are they not alive? As an actor, I was like, well, what is it about these two men that she, because she, I genuinely believe she loved Frank, but I think that she, it was a love that she didn't really question. I think it was just a, this is what she did. She met him very young and she got married. So it was, it was a love, but it wasn't, it wasn't the depths of how, how she feels for Jamie, because I feel like Jamie, it's this timeless, metaphysical kind of really, you know, it's, it's, it's otherworldly, that love. Um, I don't think I've ever been in that position. Uh, I think, I think that you, you always know who's right for you and who's not. I mean, I think when I've come out of something and then met someone new, you always sort of, you still hold love for that other person, but you know, yeah. there's, there's space in your heart to have a little love for everyone, right? <laughs> you need not be scared so long as I'm with you. And when you're not with me. <laughs> be careful. 